everybody. Hello, I'm Kim. And I'm Erin, and we are Candy RV TV. Mm -hmm. And today, we are leaving New Hampshire. So sad. We spent we had, the whole summer here. Mm -hmm. And it went by so fast. So fast. We had an amazing time. Highly recommend coming up here for summer, at least. But now that uh, it's fall, winter's coming, and we're getting out of here. We gotta go south, baby. We gotta go south. We are not made for um, New England winters, for sure. We know that already. <laughs> nope. So um, today we are heading to our first Harvest Host for the evening. Mm -hmm. um, Harvest Host, if you don't know, is a program you pay for the year and you're able to stay at wineries, farms, mm -hmm. things like that for um, one night. Yeah, no hookups. No hookups, but it gives you a safe place to kind of rest and mm -hmm. you can check out the property that you're at. They ask you to patron the property that you're staying at to kind of contribute for your stay. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing and we're doing our very first one tonight. And we're going to a distillery. Shocker. It's called and Once I saw it, Aaron was like, yes, yeah, that's absolutely. the first stop. It's called Vermont Distilleries, and mm -hmm. they have a maple, a cream liqueur, mm -hmm. liqueur, liqueur, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. We're excited for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's our first. We're professionally boondocking now. Mm -hmm. we, we're ready. Last time we boondocked was by accident because we lost our transmission. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this that's what we're doing purpose. today. Our freshwater tank is filled. Yeah. Our propane is filled. Our tires are good to go. Lucy got an oil change. Mm -hmm. The car got an oil change. So we're Lucy good got to a go. bath. She's clean for her, her mm -hmm. trip. So yeah, we're excited. We're praying everything goes well. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully, once you see this video, we will be safely <laughs> where we are. <laughs> Follow us on our socials if you want to see more daily updates. updates. Yes, we have Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. TikTok, all K and E R V TV. Yep. And right, yeah, let's hit the road. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RV TV, K and E on VTV, sing it with us. My co pilot is patiently waiting for us to leave. He's like, come on already. Zachary, you ready for travel? He's feeling a little better. He's still not 100%. His back has been really bad, but he's on some medicine, um, anti-inflammatories to help with his back. So, all right, Cods, let's do it. We're on the road, Cody. We just stopped and got gas, and I got myself a sausage, egg and cheese on an English muffin for breakfast. And yeah, we're on the road. Um, we've got an hour and 45 minutes now till we get there. We're going to be going through Concord, New Hampshire, which is the capital of New Hampshire. And we've actually never even went there the whole time we were here. But if we do come back up, maybe we'll check it out. There's a big old American flag. But we're enjoying the, the fall, the last of the fall colors here. So now it's the middle of October. We will be driving through the Green Mountains tomorrow of Vermont. So hoping we'll see some beautiful fall colors up in there, but it's still so pretty. A lot of the leaves are starting to fall. But hopefully we have a nice uneventful drive. Alrighty, we just started the first leg of our trip. Kim's in the RV with the dogs. I'm following behind in the car. And so far, so good. We have about an hour and 40 minutes until our stop for the night. Luckily, the weather has looks good for the, the drive today, which I'm very thankful for. So, yeah. We'll see how our first night goes, our first harvest host stay. And I'm, I'm feeling optimistic. So thank you all again. Y'all are the best. Candy Tribe, love you. Passing by the city of Concord. Cody, what you think? Not impressed? <laughs> but we um, are heading west towards Vermont. So that's exciting, but we're really happy with Everything that we got to do while we were in New Hampshire, we got to do so many fun new things that we've never done before or thought that we would ever do. We just did the rail bikes yesterday in Kennebunkport. That was so cool. You know, we really love the Cog Railway. 
the Flume Gorge hike in Franconia Notch State Park up in the White Mountains. Like, we really got to do some cool stuff. You know, we were only a half an hour from the beach and, you know, like an hour and a half to the mountains. So, like, we were really in a good spot to be able to do a lot, which, which was really great. We got some nice views. See a little mountain, some hills in the back. It really is such a beautiful day. We got so lucky. There was supposed to be some rain Continue this weekend. Miles. Continue on to State Route 9 toward Key. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> She's so useful. I don't know how people used to, how did we used to get around without GPS? I really, I, I remember map quests and we'd have to print the directions and just bring them along with you. Or before that, you had to just use a map. Kim is always a navigator because I am useless when it comes to a map. Even sometimes using the GPS. <laughs> but yeah, wow. Really pretty. Not too shabby of a drive. We got a creek over there. It's like Tennessee. There's even creeks in New Hampshire. Um, <laughs> but uh, we made it to Route 9. And this is going to be the route that we're going to stay on the whole rest of the way through New Hampshire into Vermont. So. So far, no traffic. We've actually never hit traffic, not one time, the whole time we were up here in New England. Anywhere. You know, we're from South Florida, the land of um, traffic everywhere. So, it was a really nice, nice change, not um, being in such a hugely populated area, which is definitely a blessing when you're driving. Sitting in traffic in the RV is like the least, most fun thing ever, but, Everything's going uh, pretty well so far. We have made it into Vermont. How exciting. We've already seen some cute little shops. There's a little farmer's market open right there. But we're about um, 20 minutes away from our harvest host. So, so far so good. We've definitely seen a few more fall colors this way. Hitting a little bit of traffic right now, but nothing too bad. I'm so excited. First time in Vermont, baby. Woo! Officially in Vermont, we just passed a huge farmer's market and there's a ton of cars out there. Wow. I think we're in Bat Battle Bureau. Battle Bureau? I don't know. I just saw the sign real quick. But it's a cute little town. This drive has been uh, really, really nice so far for sure. It is a Saturday, so I guess um, people are out and about. Oh, they have like a yard sale. <laughs> but just the houses and everything up here are so cute. So you can tell they're all so old. Look at these houses. But we are only 90 minutes away from the Vermont Distillers is what it's called. Cody's ready to get there. He's getting antsy. Yeah, you getting antsy? You want to get there already? Closer and closer we get up into the mountains. The fall foliage is definitely a lot better than where it was where we were in southern New Hampshire. But this drive has been really, really beautiful. We will be at our destination in four minutes, Cody. He's so antsy. He's so, so antsy. We are almost there. I know this Hogback Mountain gift shop is a really popular scenic overlook. Oh, there's a beer and brewery too. How fun. And here's the distillery. Ooh, we are right next to this huge scenic overlook. All right, I gotta figure out where to go. Well, hello everybody. It's been a minute since I filmed us pulling in here, yeah. but we're here. We are set up. Which is very easy when you are boondocking because uh -huh. all you do is get in the levels because you, <laughs> you don't have hookups. So yeah, I didn't have to hook up the poop or the water or the electric or anything. So. We found the most level spot that we could here uh -huh. in this parking lot and um, we use a couple leveling blocks just to 
The important yeah. thing is we have to be level enough for the propane to be able to drip to keep the fridge on. Uh -huh. so food stays great. So that's really uh -huh. our number one concern. We can always be lopsided for one night. It's not a big deal. Uh -huh. but, but for everything to, sure. to run and work properly in right. the RV, we have to be as level as possible. As level as, as, level as we can. We are feeding the dogs. <laughs> they rested for a little bit and we're able to sleep a little bit. Cody didn't sleep the whole entire way here. He, so he hasn't slept since like eight o'clock this morning. So for, for them, they sleep pretty much all day normally. And uh, Zachary did the best. Mm -hmm. He rested yeah, the whole time you. behind me. I didn't even know. He didn't even make a peep behind me the whole time I was driving. Those of you who have um, been asking about him, he's doing okay. He's yeah, not he's, 100% yet. But he's a good boy, huh? He's getting there. He just ate his food. Yeah. We did take him for a walk as soon as we got here. They got um, they all got their all their poops, poops out. out. They're excited poops, so, and every time we travel, they get really excited. They always gotta, they their emotions run their bowels. Just, just like me, just like you, Aaron. <laughs> but Not a bad I don't thing, know if you can see through our window. But this is our view. This is like at the top of the mountain, but it is gorgeous. There's an RV right over here in front of us. They got the better the portion view. of the view. First. They got here first. <laughs> Lucky for them, but we try not is... to get on top of them. Yeah, you know, we want to try to you know pace respect space their our... space. Yeah, so I think we're I think we're okay. Yeah, but our view isn't so shabby either. Mm -mm. And we're at a distillery. And the pull the pull off was on the other side when we just pulled in. Mm -hmm. The scenic view over there, and there's like a brewery and all that other stuff. We'll probably check out good. a lot of stuff tomorrow yeah. because we're not rushing out of here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Our next spot at the alpaca farm is only like 45 minutes from here, from here. Yeah, it's not very so far. we're gonna hang out here tomorrow in the morning check out the distillery and the views so and everything sure, they got going on make sure you hit notification bell so you yeah. don't miss any of these upcoming videos because we don't even know exactly what we're doing uh -huh. so it's pretty it's exciting it's very exciting i can't believe like we're even here that we're I doing know, this we've already like, remind ourselves numerous <laughs> times we're like um we're doing this yeah. <laughs> we're venturing out for a little bit this is our little leveling blocks. Lucy's nice and level for us in the spot. This is a big parking lot here at this Harvest Host. That's the distillery there right across the street. The baby's got their sweaters on because it is chilly. It's, chilly. it's in the 40s now. It's going to get to the low tonight is like 39. We'll see how we do. <laughs> we can't use our little space heaters tonight. But, uh, We're going to do the oven on. <laughs> We're right here with this amazing view. Harry Cody's pulling me. But yeah, not too shabby for a technically a free free spot, but we will be patroning the distillery. Shocker. Shocker. I don't think we're gonna have a problem finding something to purchase here. <laughs> not a bad view at all. Cody's loving all the new smells. He's just peeing everywhere. But we're happy that they they ate some food. They slept a little bit. So now we're gonna go explore a little bit what we can. And we'll show you. Show you what we'll show you. Oh, I see the sign free tastings, Aaron. And they have a food truck. Spud's truck wagon. You may not even have to cook dinner. <laughs> Dogs are loving it so far. <laughs> They're so dang cute in their sweaters. Mm -hmm. This place is so cool. It's dog friendly. We just brought the dogs inside. Number We're gonna one. do like a dedicated video here tomorrow. Tomorrow like, afternoon. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's really busy in there right now because it's Saturday night. So there's this whole little back patio area. And look at this. This is the view on the other side. Out on the camera because yes. it is stunning. Stunning, like, uh, yes, please. Color pops, like, hold on, what? Yeah, it is right off a of road. I guess it's pretty yeah. popular. Yeah, everywhere you look, you see trees uh -huh. or this, like, it's beautiful. So beautiful. What a great find, Aaron. So glad we signed up for this Harvest yes. Host, or we've never even would have known what this place was or we've come here. We've thought about Harvest Host for a uh. while, and we just were like, well, how much are we going to use it? You know, uh -huh. we usually go somewhere and stay for a while. But since we knew we were going to take a month to get down to Florida, we're like, let's give it an opportunity. It's yeah. not summer, so it's cool yeah. enough. We might be too cool. We might be too cool <laughs> we'll tonight. Find out tonight. But, you know, we're taking advantage of it, and this is our first time so far. I'm, I'm a happy girl. Happy, happy, you know? happy. Yeah. And. Especially this one is a very happy. People all the people, all family. the people inside just got all the love from them, both of them. <laughs> I do, you know, he's, he's 
Adventure. Adventure's not he's, his favorite thing. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's okay. He's fine. He's okay. Wow. This is cool. Um, no complaints here. You don't have a drink in your hand. I'm still not complaining. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I was looking I at. I did have a little I wine was, in the RV. I was looking at the drink list in there, and looks good. Looks really cool. And I want to do the tasting. They have a blueberry liqueur as well. And the maple cream. That's what I'm. Yeah, they have a maple cream. Mm. But they do have a tasting. So it was just really busy in there right now. Yeah. So we're going to come back and do like a, a whole video here tomorrow. And then Aaron's going to cook us some dinner tonight in the RV. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to use our propane stove. Uh -huh. I can use some soup on this chilly evening. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we should do soup. Maybe. Cody's worse than a child. I literally had to drag him out of there. He did not want to leave. He just loves exploring and there was other dogs there. So, and people, he's so social. All the people inside of there <laughs> were loving him, but. We love their sweaters. <laughs> we're walking back open. Oh, we did find out they were open till seven. We thought they were open till five. And then we also saw there's a, the brewery literally, literally a two second walk down the street has pizza. So I think I'm getting out of cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> right, I guess we save it. Yeah, like we should like, where we don't have to. Yeah. You know, cause propane isn't cheap either. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. yeah. And but then we don't have dishes. This is where Lucy's parked. Skip the dishes. Right, with this view. Look at this, this is This crazy. is an awesome spot, man. I'm Our so first stoked about this. experience. So far, uh, so good. Yeah, we'll see how the night goes, but right now I'm, I'm there's a couple of RVs, there's one there. Look at it, they got a little smart car they tow behind. Look at that, it's like a little matchbox car. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> this could be like the coolest place ever. I had a cooking, y'all. So, um, the dogs were passed out, so we're like, let's go get some pizza. Look at this view. This is called the Beer, Beer Naked Brewery, the top of Hog Mountain. In Vermont. Oh, look at the husky. Oh, ooh, and we get some live music. Oh, how freaking cool is this? What? What is life? What is life? What is wow. This place is so cool inside with the it's most. So loud. Uh, yeah, it's pretty loud, but there's an the amazing view through all of these windows. Insane. What kind of pizza are we getting? We're getting the potato pie, sour cream, garlic, mashed potatoes, maple bacon, shredded mozzarella cheese, and, and it's cooked in a wood fire oven. The one I've ever seen. Yeah, this place is cash only, but I don't know if you can see the oven back there. Mm, they got tons of beers on tap. <laughs> How's your beer, Aaron? This is really good. We got the cream ale. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Look at this view, y'all. This place is so cool. You can see for miles and miles. Yeah, the best view is over there, but the, the people at the end of the balcony are like having a party down there. So we can't walk down there, but yeah, it's, it's, the it's popping here. There's a lot of people here. This is a popular, popular place. Look at all these people. And these are the windows that are from the inside and you get this view. Cheers, y'all. Pizza's ready. This is the potato pie. Don't drop it, Aaron. Ooh oh my God. Have you ever had a pizza with potatoes? Because I have not. This smells freaking And there's delicious. bacon and there's supposed to be sour cream. They didn't give us sour cream. Oh yeah, and chives. What the heck? Round two. <laughs> the Expo girl, she's newer, so she forgot the chives. But the sour cream is actually in like the. There race. we go. What and we do have sour cream in the RV, so if you want to dip it. Um, this is maple, bacon, and a garlic on the bottom as a sauce. It smells so good. Oh. We gotta get back to eat it. Let's go. All right, we gotta we gotta get back to the RV, which is literally right over there. But this view is stunning. Amazing! We had we had such a good time here. <laughs> we, we didn't even know this is what we're gonna into coming yeah. here. This, is crazy. this place is dog friendly too. We could have brought the dogs, but they it's been a lot for them today already. So all right, let's go home. Let's do it. Shh. We came back inside and look. They don't even know we're here yet. They don't even know we're here. That's how wore out and content they are, which makes our hearts They're... so happy because we just left them for a good hour to go get pizza. Uh huh. Probably and not even an hour. It's probably like... Yeah. Half an hour, 40 minutes. We we'll always worry about them when we leave them in a new place just uh -huh. because the sounds, you know. Luckily, the fact that we live in our box, they're, they're always in they're their home. They're content in here. 
They just don't like when we pull up and then leave. So we had to wait a couple hours before we could do it. All right, let's eat some pizza. How's your potato pie pizza? It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of, I feel like it's like a pierogi in pizza form. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody's snoring away over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're posted up in the RV. Mm -hmm. Feet up. We are watching the new Little Mermaid. We have it downloaded. We have a bunch of stuff downloaded. On the iPad. On the iPad and on my laptop, mm -hmm. on our phones. So we don't have Wi-Fi or anything to play what we would normally watch. Or electricity. <laughs> you guys have a cream on your face. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and <laughs> this is our reflected such normally in Aaron's window up there, but we're using it to like make it louder to reflect yeah. the sound. And it, it makes it's, it much louder. It's working. It's amazing. But yeah, this pizza's good. I just, because it's really chilly outside by the time we got home and ate it and cold. everything. It was not cold. It was a little like, lukewarm, but now it's, it's cold getting now, cold. But yeah. it's really, really, really good. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how's your box wine, Aaron? Delicious. Yeah, our beer that we had at the bar. Yeah, it was really loud there. I don't know if you could hear us talking or whatever. But we had a, so cool. a cream ale. We just shared it while we were waiting for a pizza, mm -hmm. enjoying the view. We place? had to partake in something local. Yeah. With that view. Like, that was a really, really so cool So far, place. this Harvest House, like, we would have never found this place. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You we didn't know, know it existed. Mm -hmm. We only found it because we had this har got this Harvest House membership. Mm -hmm. That's really one of the reasons, like, we were, like, I was kept leaning towards it since I found out about Harvest House. I was like, it's going to force us. We we know we love camping. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're just camping in our house. Mm -hmm. We know how to do that. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, especially when the weather's permitting right now. Cool enough we don't need air conditioning that uh -huh. be comfortable the lights work off our house batteries yeah we have a propane over on the fridge we can cook on it we have all the we still have our generator if we really need some electricity uh -huh. we can start our generator our water tank's full we have a yeah. water pump and then the sinks turn on yeah yep and harvest host is, is allowing us to have somewhere safe to stay have somewhere cool to stay like mm -hmm. this yeah like this is amazing uh-huh and we literally paid eighty dollars for the year. I think their normal membership is like ninety nine bucks for the year, and it starts from the date that you purchase it. So, you know, make sure you're going to use it. We figured we can use it too after our work camping's finished in Florida. <clears throat> we'll be able to use it for the next coming months wherever we go after uh -huh. that. Yeah. So, I mean, this is our, it's literally our first night doing mm -hmm. it. So we're acting like we're experts. No. So far, like our starting off experience has been very, very good. Positive. Very but I think we we prepared ourselves right. I think uh -huh. that's part of it. You have to like be ready, know what you're getting into, going in with a camping mindset, yeah. with like every luxury you could possibly give yourself. And we're not doing it just to have a free place to stay. It's just to find cool places to exactly. stay as well. And to be safe. Yeah. And if we have to buy a bottle of liquor along the way, I think we'll be all right. What a sh twist my arm. And a pizza. <laughs> and a pizza, right? <laughs> I'm happy girls and we're watching Little Mermaid and the dogs are relaxing. The they dogs have their are on still. snoring away. It is like 40 something degrees. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loving it, guys. So since we stayed the night here in Vermont, we get to add our sticker. Sticker on the map. Sticker on the map. We're excited. Sticker on the map. Yeah. This is why we were the most excited for the Harvest Host too. Hopefully, you know we'd get to stay over in a few more states than we normally would if we were paying nightly, right? So Vermont, it's a little tiny one. Teeny weeny. Where is it? There it is. It's not a fun one with Teeny a picture. What? Right. Yeah! High five! Woo! This is so fun. I'm if excited. If you have an RV, you gotta get one of these maps. Yes, it's so it fun. really it's fun to see your progress uh -huh. and when you start getting some color. We still yeah. have. Woo. We still have a lot. Woo. A whole bunch, but. But yeah, we're I'm filling it in. I'm proud of us. From Florida all the way to Maine, baby. So we just need Massachusetts and Rhode Island, Rhode Island. New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland. You should get a film. Oh, sorry, I was yeah. reading. <laughs> and North Carolina, which is crazy because we've been through it a million yeah. times. You're always right around it, but we have yet to stay. Yeah, so go us. All right, well. We're gonna head to the distillery now. We're yes. gonna make a whole dedicated video there, so yep. make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for all our future adventures. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Woo! If you enjoyed this video, hit your like button. If you're new to our channel or you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. Click a button. Great for us. And we will see us do all this cool stuff. Yeah, we still not even sure. We know we're sleeping tonight, but after that, we don't have a plan yet. We're going to an alpaca farm. Yes. So you want to see that video? Yes. You, you do. You want to see it. All right. We'll see you in the next episode.